In this video we present our work Structure Invariant Range Visual Inertial Odometry for vision-based navigation on Mars. The Ingenuity Mars helicopter achieved the first autonomous flight on another planet in the Mars 2020 mission. During the crucial entry descent and landing phase, Perseverance employed innovative techniques, notably the sky crane maneuver, with Ingenuity remaining securely stowed within the rover to avoid any potential interference. Building on the success of Ingenuity, the next Mars Science Helicopter mission has been proposed to transport up to 5 kilograms of science payload over multiple kilometers. The MSH navigation system has been designed to explore terrains previously deemed inaccessible to Ingenuity. This project is carried out in the scope of Mid-Air Helicopter Delivery, which is a new entry descent and landing system using a jetpack to slow down the helicopter within its control envelope. Since the MSH already has all the functions to land, MAD is expected to improve terrain access and reduce cost by eliminating a traditional planetary lander. From a visual navigation point of view, the goal is to have an accurate estimate of the jetpack's velocity in order to guarantee stability in the hovering phase before the helicopter release. This novel way of performing EDL comes with a set of new challenges. Among these we have, initializing navigation at altitudes as high as 12 kilometers above the ground and over highly 3D terrain encountering phases of zero inertial excitation during descent and not having access to prior maps. For instance, landing in proximity of sites like Vallis Marineris showing altitude variations of plus minus 4 kilometers would add errors up to 8 kilometers if assuming terrain planarity. Related work have integrated altimeter measurements into the visual inertial odometry frameworks. However, all of them assume global planarity of the terrain which would introduce significant errors in the scope of MAD. The state-of-the-art visual odometry framework XVIO relaxes the planarity assumption from globally to locally flat by constraining local regions of the terrain with LRF measurements. However, since the goal is to fly on highly non-planar terrains, this would still introduce significant errors in our pipeline that would affect drastically the performance of the state estimation. Our proposed method drops any type of planarity assumption by initializing the depth of the features with the true value of the LRF when we are sure they can be tracked over time. The facet model therefore collapses into a single feature, avoiding any type of flat surface assumption on the scene. We compute the spatial gradient matrix around the neighborhood of the central pixel at every timestamp, and when its minimum eigenvalue is higher than a specific threshold, we add that feature to the feature states used for the EKF visual update. As we fly over the 3D terrain, we add features that are initialized with the real depth value from the altimeter. Once a range feature is added to the feature states, its EKF update rule follows the same pattern of any other visual feature, the only difference is in the way their depth is initialized. The accurate depth information propagates through cross-correlation in the feature state covariance matrix during the EKF update, and not only refines the estimation of these features but also contributes to the overall improvement of the estimated state of the drone. We have shown that the proposed method is able to observe scale under conditions of constant velocity motion, even when an initial error is introduced in the state initialization. In addition to that, a Monte Carlo analysis evaluated on trajectories representative of the Mars EDL phase showed that, unlike previous methods, the state estimator does not exhibit any type of divergence when deploying range feature initialization.